I'm going to show you a feature called Eager Evaluation that I found in the Chrome DevTools on the JavaScript console. When this setting is enabled, it tries to evaluate any JavaScript that's already typed in and show you what the answer would be if you were to hit enter. So here I have an object with two functions in it, one named Celsius, one named Fahrenheit. And you can see that they take in a Kelvin temperature, and then there's the formula to convert Kelvin to Celsius, and the formula to convert Kelvin to Fahrenheit. So how can we play around with this using eager evaluation to test our results? First, I'm going to use object entries to convert this to an array of arrays. And so now if I were to map this, You can see the first item in here is the name of the function. And so when I map that to the first item in the child array, you can see the name show up. If I were to do this with one, it's the actual functions. And we can verify this uh, by doing to string. So now we can see that these strings are indeed the functions that were in the object. So if we wanted to evaluate them, all that we'd have to do is call them with a number. So if we try 273, um, we should get negative 15 Celsius and 31.73 Fahrenheit. But this doesn't look so good, so let's clean it up with eager evaluation, and we can watch what the result is going to be as we're typing up here. So one thing that we can do is to fixed, and so that makes it negative 0.1. If we were to make that longer, that would match the output there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it here as well. And that matches what we see, but if we look here, what we're returning is actually a string. So if that's okay, we're good to go. Otherwise, we may want to do something like parse float afterward to turn it back into a number. So you can see that one became a number. And so now we have numbers equivalent to the numbers that we want. So let's go ahead and test this with a few more numbers just to make sure that we know what we're doing. Let's see what 400 is. So 260.33, 126.4, and we haven't even hit enter. If we remove this, nothing was actually evaluated. It was all using that eager evaluation feature on the Chrome console to preview as we typed. If we hit enter, we get the object back, the array with the numbers in it. And so that's one way that you can use the JavaScript console in Chrome to experiment with JavaScript.